Welcome back. Well, uh, Gaba Shea will join us next. He's the Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity to the President. Good morning and thank you for joining us today. Well, focusing on the 365 days of the President, you've heard a lot of uh, analysis in different quarters about what people think of the President's performance. But first and foremost, let's start from that much anticipated list. Uh, the President eventually did say, well, the Ministry or the Minister of Information will eventually come up with that one. What, what informed uh, that decision? Well, uh, uh, thank you for having me on. And I want to say that uh, uh, I, some of us are surprised by, you know, the, the enormity of the criticism concerning that aspect of uh, the speech, which uh, uh, didn't uh, feature as expected. The, the, the important point to make is that the president did not cancel his decision to announce the seizures that have been made. What he said is that the Minister of Information will be making a pronouncement on this. And this is going to happen when work resumes from Tuesday. This is likely going to be out Wednesday, latest by Thursday. So nothing has changed from the position that there will be disclosure. The President has given authorization that these assets that have been taken back from those who took from the Treasury, you know, be, 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 be put out there. So my view is that nothing is lost. Are we going to have, uh, in terms of specifics now, the assets recovered, the amount of monies recovered or returned, and then will there be any names associated with them? The, 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 the president uh, did not at any time say he was going to name names. Uh, of course, we have read this in the press. And, 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 the, and the, the, I think that, you know, the, the office of the president, you know, sits on top there and deserves all of the protection that it can get. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, the critics have had uh, some even this morning, you know, you know, the, the, that office probably ought to be insulated from some of the, you know, things that, uh, that, that, that shouldn't be exposed to. And I have a feeling that, uh, you know, to have the president of Nigeria sitting down there, you know, mentioning the name of your local government chairman or my council chairman saying he's into this or that. I think that there are things that the president should do and must do, and there are things that can be done on his behalf. I think one of this is... Uh, those things that, uh, that that should be done for him. What about specific figures? Will there be figures in terms of how much has been recovered by the government before Thursday? Oh, oh sh sure. Yeah, yeah. The, the 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 directive by the president is that money on account in the central bank should be disclosed. There are several accounts that have been frozen by the investigating agencies. The Office of the National Security Advisor is doing that. The, the EFCC is doing that. The ICPC and the police, everyone is involved. So therefore, we will expect that there will be a snapshot of where they stand with the ongoing investigations and the recoveries when that disclosure is made. Well, as it is at the moment, uh, it's one year on, uh, even though lots of people say it's four years. But politically speaking, what I'm sure is you have four years because if the first year is gone, the second year, we understand by the third year, politicians start preparing for the next elections and as such, you lose all that time. Do you think that so far you've lost one year of not achieving what you intended achieving? I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear this because uh, I, I think for anyone who lives in co this country to say that uh, this country has lost a year, I think that's, that's certainly out of, um, I wouldn't call it outrageous, but certainly out of place. The president has focused. The president had knew what to do from the beginning. He identified the problems of this country, putting security of the country on top of the heap. 
he said repeatedly, this country must be secured. There must be peace in the country for you to develop it, to manage it very well. And I think that he has done for this country what, uh, what, what, what others had failed to do for four or five years that in which they had allowed you know, problems like Boko Haram to fester. A street protest in Meduguri you know, had grown to a citywide phenomenon, you know, problem for neighboring states, and all of the lectures, in fact, a global phenomenon with the linkage to ISIS. President Buhari, within one year, the President Buhari is about to bring Boko Haram to a closure. This is massive. And look at you know, the things that he's doing with corruption. You know, in the past, VIPs walked away with everything they took. They stole elephants, they got out with it. You know, little people got uh, steel goats, and they go to jail for all of that. Now, high-profile cases are there, convictions are coming, and I think this is enormous. This country did not lose any moment, and uh, we're building on all of the progress that has been achieved so far. Uh, Mr. Shell, let's talk about the security, staying with the security matter. You talked about the president about to end Boko Haram once and for all. What about the matter of the herdsmen that seem to be spreading across the country? What's the president saying about that? Because many have said he has not made any definite statement about the herdsmen. No, it is not correct, sir, to say that he hasn't made any difference. The president has given firm directives on the matter of uh, the herdsmen. He said that the armed forces should go after them like common criminals. And at some point, he compared them to elements in, in, in terrorism, Boko Haram, and all of that. And since the directive he has given to the military, you know that noticeably, you know, since the army has gone into it, there has been some calm in Plateau State. These things have gone down in Nasarawa State. Kaduna is having some peace. Benue, yes, it had had uh, incidents recently. But Benue has also gone, calmed down substantially. So it's incorrect to say that the thing is uh, spreading. And as it is now, you know that the president said to the... Because this is not about the president sitting down, you know, to, 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 you know, to just instruct the governors on what to do on these matters. There are states that feel strongly about some of the policy positions that have been proposed. And all of these things have, been taken, have to be taken into consideration. The president wants to listen to all of them. So what he did is ask the Vice President Professor Oshi Banjo, as the Chairman of the National Economic Council, get the governors together, sit down, this is a huge national problem, look at it and decide what to do. I'm happy the you said, uh, uh, advised Mr. Show, just let me come in here. It's good you just said that it's a big national problem. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, let's talk about this speech yesterday. Uh, there was not a line where that was mentioned. If uh, that was so huge and big a problem, just the way uh, the president did mention that of the Niger Delta Avengers and uh, even the vandals and a couple of other issues like the Boko Haram insurgency, Nigerians wondered why the herdsmen that have taken lives, over 100 lives and destroyed communities, why it didn't get a mention in the president's speech yesterday. An oversight or deliberately avoid it? Well, without meaning to appear to be insensitive, uh, but, but nobody is happy, lives have been lost. I think that it's hyperbolic to compare uh, these two agitations with the, with the, with the Fulani herdsmen menace. The, Christ, the problem between herdsmen and farmers had been with this country for as long as it has existed. Cattle rearers will drive their cattle into farmlands, they eat up crops, and then there will be a fight. Or grazing land where it is reserved is misappropriated by rulers, and then it is turned into farmland, and the cattle farmers have nowhere to drive their cattle into. So they take them into the farm. It's an ongoing circle. Yes, there has been aggravation of late, and it is sad, unfortunate, and it should not have happened. Boko Haram had carved out a section of this country and declared a caliphate, a sovereign state out of this country. In the same way as, as, as the, you know, some of the signals are coming from the Delta, people want to, the president would not allow a situation in which people do not sub submit to the authority of the state.
Now let me that that, that let certainly let me, is, 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 is not something that any government would do. Just allow and, me. And I want to add. Mr. Show, just let me come in here because uh, yesterday. That we, it's we, not as if. Allow me, allow me put this okay. uh, before you. Uh, sorry, uh, apologies uh, coming in now because uh, we have a whole lot to cover on this. Yesterday we had uh, uh, Professor Adisa here on the program and uh, the news, not even from him, and uh, I'm sure as a media uh, age to the president, you also have opportunity of going through the social media and see what people are saying. They think that since the president is uh, the grand and life patron of the Mieti Allah Cattle Breeders Association, has chosen not to say anything. Don't you think that is the more reason that the president should have put that first before any other issue? <laughs> no, unfortunately no. This, it, it was not a catch-all speech. It, do you know that in all of the th things you're talking about, someone also made the point that in all of the speech, he didn't say, he didn't say the name of his party, APC. Has, has he stopped being a member of the APC or has APC being, has stopped being the governing party of this country? I think that people are trying to make a big issue out of something that is small. For as far as we can see, I think that, that, that the president has substantially, essentially has the hard men menace under control. The army has moved in to much of the troubled area and calm has been restored. In the end, a permanent solution will be found to it by the time the governors among themselves resolve on what to do with, 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 with the husband. Uh, whether there will be crazy results or whatever it is, there will be a solution. And for once, this country will have a permanent uh, solution to the problem. Let me take you back to the, when we talk about corruption in terms of specifics. Now, here's what the president actually said about that. <laughs> 